I am so honored to be talking to two-time national award winner, Sarika Ji. She won the Best Actress Award for the film Perzania and Best Costume Designer for the film Hey Ram. She started as a child artist in 1960s and went on to become a hugely successful heroine in the big and highly competitive world of Hindi cinema. So welcome all to Off the Cuff with Namrata. And I am sure you all will be very excited to learn and know about this beautiful and talented star uh, yes. you know, that uh, I have with me here. And welcome, Sarika Ji, to Off the Cuff on Bali 92.3 FM. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and uh, I hope you're doing well. I am absolutely wonderful now talking to you uh, and thank you so much for, uh, you know, taking up this offer and a big thank you to Yamini Das Ji who connected us. So, Sar yeah, so Sar can you just tell me, you know, I will have to say that you are a survivor. You've survived and actually enjoyed your foray into Bollywood. Your first successful movie as a child artist was Hamraz, I think, in 1967. And now here you are in 2023 in a very successful and well-appreciated movie, uh, Unchai. So my question is, what made you stay afloat? I don't know, because uh, I think I started so uh, young. Uh, mm -hmm. There was not, like, you know, these... Uh, it was not a conscious decision because normally people come when they're in their teens or something like that. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. No. And uh, so when you start so young, you just, I think, flow with the events in your life. And uh, before you know it, you know, you're not a kid anymore, then you're a teenager, and then life happens, <laughs> and then you keep doing things. So I think that's it. There's been no conscious decision on my part. Wow. So it's like you were thrown in the water and you learned to swim, I guess, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Gee, bilkul, bilkul uh, say. <laughs> I know, I know. And, uh, you know, you've said in one of the interviews that you are grateful that, you know, despite three sabbaticals, your career, uh, you managed to return uh, uh, with good work. So did you actively look for work? Because producers, you know, these days forget that a heroine of your stature is looking for work. And uh, have you been selective while signing new work? So now there are three questions. First, I think, uh, 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 let's start backwards. I think basically it's not only, uh, you know, uh, it's not about uh, me and my colleagues uh, uh, like me. It's, it's, it, it applies to everybody. Uh, uh, like the industry works on the basis of, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, if if you're seen, if your work is out there, and mm. if you have successful films, and that's when you come into the conversation. Mm. So I think that is always uh, the case with everybody. And maybe somewhere it's fair enough, you know, to the producers, mm. uh, they're doing business, they want yeah. good actors, and they want to, you know, see how, think of those kind of things. And uh, then your second question was, I think this was the second question. Manage to yeah, come back to good work. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is simply because um, it's a very simple thing. Hmm. And in that sense, I'm very realistic. I've never had any kind of, uh, uh, you know, notion about myself as to where I am, how I am, how I look, what I can do. I'm oh. very realistic about it. Mm -hmm. And if you're realistic, which means you're basically open to only one thing, which is mm -hmm. good work. Okay. And I think it becomes easier for directors to, you know, uh, go to actors who are uh, not in a space like thinking hey, I'm still 40 or and I'm still 30 or I'm mm. you know like that so then you get roles which are right for you and in that sense there is no dearth of good work 
and i think that is why it has happened like this that whenever i have decided to you know go and then come back uh, it is easier for uh, mm. me to get in a space all i have to do is look for a good role and a good script Uh, the rest becomes easy if i come with an intention carry i want this and this that won't be realistic so i think it's a very simple thing mm. i understand that because you know i've seen a lot of uh, um actresses you know kind of they are still uh, you know in their own image that when they were much younger and they say oh coming back after 20 30 years you know they're still holding on to that image so it's difficult yeah. for them to get the roles and here you are you know just thriving i'll say and doing i just loved loved a few of the work i saw you know of yours over the weekend and i just loved you in modern love mumbai uh yeah that it, is very very special i think because the director is so good okay okay and it was marvelous because it uh, i won't say you know these days uh, what do you think of uh, the web series and the ott platforms that's given so much of uh, uh, you know uh, it's opened up a lot of uh, venues for women roles uh, to explore different different kind of genres so what do you have to say about that and uh, yeah uh you're right but i think i will just correct this a little bit namrita ji yes. that is uh, i think not only for female it has opened doors and it just welcome actors hmm. period that's it you know well, anything you watch the number of hmm. good actors that you see hmm. in the series uh hmm. is quite uh, amazing mm. and uh, not only actors when it comes to directors uh, you know if you watch if you pick five top mm. series coming out of india yeah. by five different directors you will see how diverse they are from mm. each other the diversity because every director now can make a f- uh, f- uh, cinema with his or her own concept mm. uh, Uh, there is no uh, pressure of uh, houseful shows or collection and oh. all that so it's very personalized cinema coming so the directors are empowered and the third thing which ott has done is it has brought back writers in writing yeah. i feel uh, somewhere we had gone uh, wrong hmm. i think we still are not truly on the right path we are mm. still off path is in films i think the writing has really gone down you know somewhere okay. it was just uh, storytelling there's a difference between yes storytelling and a well written story uh, so mm. i think films we are still not there but if with ott platforms if you see the writing has come back and when your writing is good which is the foundation of any mm. cinematic product uh, you know or a play mm. or anything if that is strong then everything works so ott has opened doors for all these three things directors writers mm. and actors like so many good actors have come uh, who would generally not have their stars now you know they are recognized absolutely. and it's a pleasure of watching them perform they are so good i also like keep telling everybody mm. there was a time when you had two good actors and rest of them were stars you know if mm. you had top 10 actors out mm. of which eight were stars and two were actors it was like a routine thing i have been watching right from my yeah. you know mm. when i was young i was a, you know kid and then i grew up and all that today being a good actor is no more an elite group yes i don't know if i'm making sense no there are absolutely right yeah you know it is not that elite group ke aap do acche actor hain nahi aisa nahi hai aaj itne acche actor hain from experienced actors to young new actors that uh, it's a it's really a pleasure yeah can you name a few that uh, you know come to your mind uh, 
there's so many uh, you know uh, if you pick up any new series which comes on ott mm-hmm. at least four good actors you can pick from that new you discover four new actors you know it's like that in fact i was yesterday day before watching um, this thing farzi mm-hmm. Okay. and there is uh, there is this uh, gentleman who plays shahid's uh, friend okay. and you look at him he is so good like i'm just saying the most recent thing that i've seen okay. just to give an example you know but all of them look at the women look at the girls mm. the men the boys mm. it is <laughs> this is the best period i think for actors i i agree completely you know i'm a huge fan of uh, pankaj tripathi and uh, oh yes they they the lover rasika dogal shifali absolutely Shaf- absolutely these and you know like uh, you said there were only two good actors earlier on because there was a very big distinction between commercial and art cinema so yeah. art cinema, you know you were just okay nasir was there and then om puri was there and you know a few others but for them sanjeev kumar was there sanjeev you know, they kumar. Were, <laughs> yes you know sanjeev kumar was the only good actor because there is this guy i remember who came like we used to hear stories it was much before uh, it was i mean when he came to be recognized i was just about 6 or 7 years old or something mm. so i have heard these stories uh, mm. that uh, he did a, a small role of two scenes or three scenes with the dilip mm. dilip sir dilip mm. kumar mm-hmm. in some film i can't remember the name i think it was sangarsh or something something like that and everybody said wow this guy who mm. could act and stand in front of dilip kumar and yes. then he became this good actor but then he was the only one you know it is like that <laughs> but there were so many stars it became like that then at one point shatruhan sinha came and then he became that and it became you know it, it was i i think the only person who broke uh, that thing and was considered and respected as a good actor was but commercially also a star was mr bachchan yes but you know i i he didn't that. yes he didn't fall in that star only category where he just danced and did mm. some ma me college se aagya type of scenes and <laughs> they are so cringe with you now when you see those girls <laughs> I know. You know, if you he's go like forty-four, forty-four, forty-five-year-old man enters and says, "Ma, ma, my college se aagya." And please mind, there are three notebooks in his hand. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and one, one, uh, this forty-four-year-old hero has like eighteen-year-old girl who comes and says, "Bhaiya, bhaiya." I know. I remember. <laughs> those dialogue my first class first i am <laughs> i, I know and then you think ke are you are 40 even now if you don't come first class car then when will you come first class first <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious actually so true <laughs> you know even amitabh i feel was slotted into the angry young man so i remember him yeah, just but he was also recognized as a good actor yes so he was commercially successful and so successful i mean he's one of the biggest stars that we have had in mm. our country you mm. know uh, right from south hindustani to unchai look at the man's journey it's unbelievable journey and uh, this is one of the biggest stars we have had and, and you, uh, but you, he was yeah but okay. he also was respected so much as an actor if you saw abhiman or you saw sodagar you know so i think barring mr bachchan or every other period had one or two good actors but today like coming back to the point Mm-hmm. there are so many good actors and i'm so happy like aapne kaha pankaj tripathi ji you know i think uh, he is such a special actor special. you know there's something very special about him like yeah. irfan if you remember oh yes always yeah you know these are actors who are something to there's an edge to them where they're not 
it's just good actors there is something very very special about them very true and you had the pleasure of working with uh, mr amita bachchan so would you like yes. to share any of your <laughs> tidbits no mr bachchan uh, with uh, working with mr bachchan has is been like uh, an ongoing thing i think in my mm-hmm. career because okay. before i st- stopped working uh, the first time which was in 80s i had already done two films with him i think three films i can't remember two or three films mm-hmm. and uh, then later i came back i did something then again i went and now i see my relationship with him has been a bit of a lot of respect mm. and uh, admiration uh, you know and uh that also brings a kind of a little distance when you admire and respect somebody yes. we are not pals yes. we are not uh, uh friends as you say no mm. uh, back slapping friends mm. so that has been the relationship and i'm very happy because i think this kind of a relationship is very rare uh, mm. uh especially every time that i uh, i work with him after a gap of 3 years Mm. or two years or four years you know it has been like that mm. he I, i'm not trying to say this to because it's amitabh bachchan or i'm not saying this to give a good uh, yeah uh, sound bite mm. but really namrita ji i'm not kidding mm. he's better and better every time i come back and work with him <laughs> on the set <laughs> wow you know unka jo discipline hai his discipline and his uh, his sheer passion for his work oof mm. it's 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 so good and he can you know he can afford to be uh, not so disciplined and he can afford to be you mm. know throwing tantrum or something nothing at all it is such a pleasure working with him it's yeah. it's beautiful and as an audience i think you know we also are always riveted i love his work now more than i used to uh, yes i loved him in pink and you know any movie you pick unchai was so wonderful and any time he comes he was so good in unchai also really yes, you all were we talk about it later <laughs> so yeah tell me now i want to also talk to you about your national award winning uh, performance in perzania i watched that movie uh, recently so tell me about that experience it was a difficult role how did you prepare for the role of a mother you know who loses a a, a child in uh, riots and how was it working with uh, nasiruddin oh uh, you know it was a difficult role definitely it was a difficult role on mm. two levels one as an actor mm. uh, it was difficult and okay. secondly i somewhere felt i owed it to rupa the mother it's based on a true story mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. this is what happened it's a true story okay. so i somewhere had that pressure also that i owed it to her to mm-hmm. do it right mm-hmm. to uh, represent her uh, uh, life and experience and pain correctly so that becomes like a Hmm. a double thing you yes. know uh, yes. the only this uh, decision i took was not to meet her oh uh, okay yeah because i thought uh, if i meet her i'm going to get somewhere hmm. uh, influenced and biased and i didn't want to do that okay. i wanted to approach it uh, hmm. you know hmm. uh, as an actor that i would approach any role Mm. I didn't want any kind of uh, this thing, so mm. I decided not to meet her. In fact, the first time I met her was just a week before the premiere of the film. Oh wow! Yeah. So And what did she have that, to say after seeing the movie? Oh, that was very, <laughs> very heartbreaking. I don't know if I want to share this, but yeah. it was. And she said something which was not only heartbreaking, but it was. such a freudian um uh, uh. kind of a statement uh, mm-hmm. it is one of the conversations uh, that as an actor in my work i will always always mm. uh, treasure 
in my heart, you know, because it, it was so Freudian and it was so uh, overlapping and it, it was very different, but it was too, too personal. I don't know if I want, want to no. talk about that now, mm. but uh, that is it. It, it. it was very difficult for them. If you see, it is, it's totally a true story, everything. So that was difficult. Then coming to Nasir, Nasir is, I mean, him, he's like my John. I really like him very much. I had worked with him earlier also in mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, uh, 81 or something like that. I had done a mm -hmm. film with him. Mm -hmm. So when I came back and the, this film came, and then mm -hmm. Nasir, and as we all know, I don't have to tell you, Nasir, as an actor, I, I don't, we don't have to know. I mean, discuss that. Everybody yeah, knows. You know. <laughs> he, he was so much, you know, ahead of his times and yes. uh, very much ahead of his time. And he just, uh, he did the kind of, you know, he, Nasir and Omji performed the way that actors are performing today. Mm. So it was amazing. It is, it is, it's, it's quite amazing. And uh, so that was that was very good also I was coming back after 18 years so mm -hmm. you know it, it was nice uh, mm -hmm. to be working with somebody who was not only a good actor but a very nice person so mm -hmm. that creates a good uh, space and uh, it was a very emotional film for both of us because there was a lot of interaction some scripts are like that you know yeah. when the, you and your co-actor share a lot of you mm. you 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 are both on the same emotional journey of the characters mm. so it was a personal kind of a experience for both of us and his way of working is very different mm. and uh, very passionate and kind of you know he he goes into the whole thing and he's so brilliant in the film absolutely so that felt good it was very good yeah, and it was a movie that really had to be balanced well because, because you know, Jesus. such movies can go wrong completely. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have just just said the right thing. I think uh, I personally, not as an actor, as a person, mm -hmm. uh, I feel uh, uh, the best part about uh, the film is, uh, you know, it could have gone wrong so easily. Yeah. So, yeah, these are very delicate issues, very and these delicate. are very mm. sensitive issues. Yeah. And there, to just simply tell a story, not to mm. instigate or not yeah. to no agenda. ignite, uh, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that that I think, as a person, I feel is the balance we found. We just shared the story. That's all we did. We didn't cross any lines, you know, which was very responsible i suppose yeah i'm that really credit goes totally to the director, director you know? absolutely absolutely and uh Sarikaji, i'm really enjoying uh, this talk with you and you know if i go back from uh, your um, uh, you know uh, you've started in 1960s and you know you've seen so many decades in the hindi uh, cinema and it is you've done a lot of multi starers from Satya Pe Satya Thi, I think, uh, Vidhata, Kranti, Phir you've done some, you know, Bade Dilwale and all because I I actually saw you in Shimla. I, I got your autograph. I was in school and <laughs> you were. Oh, really? Beautiful. Oh. Yes, you were shooting for Bade Dilwale there and I just yeah. quietly slipped, uh, you know, and you were uh, so wonderful and you just quietly gave me the autograph and it was, it made my day that, you know, that time. Oh, Here I'm I am so interviewing happy. you after ages, you know, how. <laughs> life uh, goes on that's so beautiful that's so beautiful <laughs> yeah. i know so you you know you've seen so much uh, of cinema so which uh, era or which decade do you think uh, was the most Im impactful uh, uh, you know uh, as far as cinema making or filmmaking goes i think uh, to begin with i would say today honestly Ooh. Okay. Absolutely today. 
uh, at so many levels for so many reasons. Uh, cinema is at its best today. Mm. Uh, we were talking about OTT. See the kind of different platforms we have. Uh, and the film making has changed. The mm. audience has also changed. Mm. That is why cinema is also becoming better because there is a success rate uh, for good cinema to uh, be appreciated. So if there is a good success rate, then you make more cinema of that kind. So mm. that I think is great. Even if you look at something, this is creative side of it. Then you look look at something like uh, computer graphics, CG work, you know. Yes. Yes. That itself we should res not disrespect because mm -hmm. just because actor, I mean, uh, creativity is not. There's a great amount of creativity mm -hmm. and it has actually given wings to mm -hmm. making your dreams come true, I feel. Mm -hmm. Because cinema somewhere is that, you know. Uh, creating this world which is not true but you create it and I think computer graphics has changed the game totally the mm. kind of visuals that you see you know you can dream something wake up in the morning and then you can actually put it in your film that mm. has happened the audience has become uh, you know so good and uh, the clarity of the audience uh, is also amazing you know you have all kinds of films doing so well mm. and uh, the actors the way see like I I'm uh, this one thing I, I really don't like uh, is wearing makeup oh, okay. I, re <laughs> I really don't <laughs> like gorgeous it. Anyway, you know? <laughs> I just don't like makeup I've <laughs> never liked it all my life um. I used to in fact wait for sad scenes <laughs> so that I can tell my directors okay oh. sir aaj bada sad scene hai to na makeup nahi karte then I'll look little bad and all that <laughs> and they'll say yes yes correct 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 <laughs> but mujhe mere dimaag mein pata hota tha ki aapko kya pata hai I'm going to look best today only you know <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> because I am not using, I hate makeup. Mm. I really do not like makeup. And we had to do all this, you know, like people would say, I would do less makeup and they'll say, Are, this makeup is so less and all. Then mm. I'll tell them, okay, I'm going to the makeup room. I will make it more and come back. Then mm. me, my makeup man and hairdresser will go to the makeup room, have a cup of tea, mm. do nothing. <laughs> Okay, then the the trick is you have to play this game. Okay, there's a trick to this. Okay. Is you come back on the set and then you first say, Ab hai? They'll say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have to say, I think, I think, I think mera, you know, my mascara has become too much. Ooh. Immediately they'll say, No, 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 no. It's correct, correct, correct. <laughs> so you'll say, Oh, a rouge is okay, or is it looking patchy? No, 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 rouge is also fine. This is so good. Wow. I used to do, I had to do all this <laughs> to just avoid wearing makeup. Can you imagine? But today, none of us have to do that. Oh, yes. I... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nobody. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. so uh, all these things have come in. People understand that. Ke hai, ye hai, you know, and I always feel no matter how you look, if you look good, if you don't look good, whatever it is it takes if you're good in your craft it takes exactly 10 minutes to 15 minutes and the audience gets used to your face and goes beyond that that is my very strong belief as an actor I, if, you, if your work is good your craft is good it takes exactly 10 to 15 minutes and then they go beyond the face because they are involved in something else Mm -hmm. So this freedom we didn't have. Now we have that freedom. Of course, it sounds like, oh, I'm talking about the best phase of cinema and talking something mm -hmm. like makeup. But mm -hmm. it's not a small thing. You know, I'm just giving an example of how things have changed everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I think this is amazing. And look at look at things like nobody. It's thanks to OTT that the whole India knows about Malayalam cinema. We yes. know about Malayalam cinema for 20 plus years. Mm. We know Adur Gopalakrishnan for 20 plus years, you yes. know, we know Mohanlal from 20 plus mm -hmm. years. But now when the lockdown happened, suddenly there was, a, you know, 
OTT mm. was flooded with Malayalam cinema, yes. Fahad and all that, and people were wow, wow, Malayalam cinema is so good. Yes, it is so good. Yes. So, I think all these things put together, this is a very good time for the industry. Yeah, yeah. I, I... And the second, I think after this, I would put a time. I think before I was even born. Oh. I think that was very good time in cinema when you had Guru Dutt and oh, yes. you know mm -hmm. those th those kind of films. P. R. Chopra, Bimal Roy, Guru Dutt. They made great films. V. Shantaram. Mm -hmm. yes. They were making films which are ahead of their times. You know all mm -hmm. V. Shantaram films and uh, Bimal Roy films. If you see, you know yes. B. R. Chopra films, yes. they were so much ahead of their times. The content was great. Mm. So that was a very, very good time in cinema, I feel. Yeah, I think 80s messed it up. <laughs> Quite. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, 80s is that it's, it's that party you don't want to go to. It's like that, you know. You so, just want to skip on New Year's, you go to four parties. So out of that, that one party you can skip is the 80s. Is the 80s. I know. And I have to say the makeup was harsh and the music was, you know, just a uh, noise. And mm. Yeah. No, I think there was a lot of confusion was happening because a uh, lot of different, different influences are coming and this and also some, somewhere what was happening when a change is coming you no know, this last minute gocha happens i suppose i guess so and you know i was watching shosha is a creative indian restaurant located in the heart of silicon valley Shosha is a woman-owned business that serves traditional Indian flavors assimilated with molecular gastronomy techniques. The best Indian bar with happy hours in the Bay Area serves handcrafted drinks inspired by flavors from India with modern craft cocktails that are presented in unique ways. Shosha is a modern take on traditional Indian cuisine. We specialize in corporate luncheon, anniversary celebrations, birthday parties, and catering. Do check us out for a memorable modern Indian dining experience. Shosha is located at 141 South Murphy Avenue in Sunnyvale, California. <laughs>